You're watching trending sports news on YouTube. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button to support the channel. Enjoy the video. The numbers going into the break the last few games weren't great. Is this a case of him getting energized over the All-Star break? He definitely had fresh legs. Um, he's been shooting the ball great in practice. And uh, look, the boost that he gave us, uh, that he and Brunson gave us at the beginning of the fourth was huge because you know, we put him in a tough spot uh, with some mid-pick and rolls with their big guy guarding. Um, those two guys made about five plays in a row and it gave us some separation um, and allowed us to, you know, bring the game home. But, you know, I think the break energizes everybody to some degree. Um, it was a long day today waiting around to play. You know, it's been nine days. And so I think both teams were anxious to play. The other thing that energized us was, was Daryl's night, you know, and uh, just so excited for him and... You know, what a great guy he is and what a great player he was here and, and everything he stands for, which is, you know, uh, what we want to stand for as a team, too. Coach, um, J.J. Barea, the only player you have from the 2011 championship team, um, not getting a lot of minutes. Um, any, the, the thought process during this campaign, and, and are you worried that he will lack of confidence coming to the no, playoffs? No, 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 no. You know, coming into the season, um, I, I talked to J.J. about the situation. we got a lot of young guards that are going to have to play. Um, it was going to be a situation where he's going to have to be ready when called upon, and he's going to have to be a coach for us in the locker room and on the bench. And uh, He's done everything we've asked. He's been a, the ultimate professional. Um, he's helped our young guys. Uh, by mentoring them along, you know, with, with things going out on the floor, going on out on the floor. Um, and when we've called upon him to play, he's played great. And so it's uh, not an easy situation for, a, for a, a veteran championship player like that. But he's, he's very special. And the way he has uh, managed this whole situation um, has been special, too. Cleaver had 17 points in the second half. Porzingis had 12 points in the second half. Uh, what made them so effective considering that Luca only scored nine points in the third and fourth quarter? Well, Cleaver and, uh, and Porzingis were, were getting loose for shots on a combination of rolls to the basket and, and pops and spot ups. And we have a lot of playmakers on the team, you know, guys that can get in the lane and, and, and attack the rim and make things happen. So, you know, we were able to strike a balance. And it's great having seven-foot guys that can shoot. I mean, it's, it's a really important thing to have in today's game. What did you think of Luca, the way he set the tone with gusto and then got everybody else going there in the second half? Yeah, listen, he had a quiet 33, you know? I mean, I don't know how often you say that, but it's the second time I've said that in about the last 10 days. I mean, he did it, you know, a week ago Wednesday in the game before the break. Um, He's a great player. He's our leader on the court, you know, with the ball. And he did a lot of great things tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. More coming up as we wrap up a map. Thanks for watching Trending Sports News on YouTube. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for your Trending Sports News.